Hello friends, welcome to this video about the Bolin 7 series cameras. These cameras are integrated with Skyhawk controllers, of course they are. We work with so many different cameras, Visca cameras, Panasonic cameras, Vadio cameras for instance. And um, this is one of the Visca cameras we have seen. I like it a lot because it has very uh, silent operation and it has smooth movements when you are um, zoomed really far in. So basically the pan tilt of this camera is depending on the focal length you're currently operating at. That's a great feature if you do lecture capture, if you are in a church and you need to uh, capture action on the stage at a really far distance and still have um, uh, very fine-grained movement of the camera pan and tilt directions. It also has an interesting feature for the presets and that is the presets seem to capture not only the pan, tilt and zoom positions of the camera, the presets also includes the iris, the focus and um, well basically a whole lot of more settings than you usually see. I find that this can be found sometimes in a manual, but more likely it's not. So you're kind of, you, you need to ask someone who, who can test it. The, the consequence is whenever you record a preset, you need to make sure that your exposure settings, your focus settings, etc., not just the pan tilt, is where they should be when you capture the preset because it gets stored with it. And that can both be an advantage and also a disadvantage. But I think it's useful to, to mention that this is the case because it really has some potential that these things are locked down along with the presets. I will go through the PTC Fly integration with the Bolin camera now. And one of the first things I'll do, um, you'll see that if you know the PTC Fly, we use the lower edge of this shift key this multifunctional key here to switch between the camera selector and the preset selector. So we have only one camera. That's camera one. It's selected already. We are now at the presets, okay? So now I'm going to recall a preset and we see the camera is going to um, move itself over here and uh, it's, it's uh, now pointing towards some of our controllers we have put on display for this little demonstration. So um, let's first look at the presets. You can see that, ah, there you saw it actually, that it, it got in position with pan, tilt and zoom, and then it changed the exposure, right? I now try another preset. So you see the camera is going here, and then it is setting the exposure. So you can see the effect of the, the storing of more settings than just pan, tilt and zoom in these presets. Okay. So that was about the pre. Oh, that that was one. That that was even image flip. I don't know where you want a preset that actually flips the image. That's pretty crazy. But um, still, it just proves the point that all these settings are stored along with the presets. So that's the presets. By the way, on the PC Fly, you can browse uh, forth and back between a number of preset pages. You can of course go beyond 15 if you want, or you can uh, cut out a page if you only have uh, 10 presets or less. You can also label the presets, watch other videos. We have plenty of content about how you can work effectively with presets. Today, I will continue looking at the various settings we have up here. So we can go to the uh, exposure menu where you can see access to uh, controlling the exposure manually. We can set the shutter speed over here. This is no surprise, I guess, for you. Uh, the gain settings can be controlled with this knob. That's all standard how we usually do stuff. We have the white balance menu, we have one push white balance. Uh, it's currently in one push mode, so when I press and hold this one, I think it is. Yes, there you saw the white balance was adjusted. We have uh, red grain, <laughs> brain, not grain, but gain. And uh, blue gain is supposed to be over here. I think in this configuration, we just hijacked this feature to have access to the image flip because uh, during the setup of this demonstration, we wanted to highlight that feature in the camera and uh, you see it works. So uh, obviously we can change the white balance mode between uh, various options. Let's see what we have here. We have auto, indoor, outdoor, one push. We have uh, auto tracking white balance right there. We have a user mode where we have access to the red gain and we could have the blue over there uh, if it wasn't for the fact we captured it. We have something called O auto. I am not exactly sure what that is, but you will know if you know your camera and you have um, looked into the settings that probably exist in, in the web interface of your camera, you'll find that these modes generally reflect what you'll find in the um, 
um, menu. You can either typically with these cameras use the remote control to change these settings or you can uh, access a web interface sometimes. It depends a little bit. But we generally implement these the settings. That's a Skahoy feature. This is how we roll with PDC integration. We don't just give you indoor, outdoor, and auto, and manual, because that exists on all cameras. We actually program in the special modes that each of these cameras has to offer you. That's how we, we go about these things. And then we have uh, Chrome as a press, uh, low, high, medium. As you can see, we have noise reduction settings. Typically, these settings uh, for a Visca camera will go from off up to five, sometimes only to three, in this case, five. And we have gamma mode here. Um, something to, yeah, you can see we are turning this on and off. Uh, let's turn it off. Sharpness adjustment, typically a value up to 15. Depends a little on the camera again, but it is a classic Visca feature. Then um, we have focus mode and um, let's just flip the image back. So you can see the, ve the, the way the menu works is that you are cycling through. So um, I'll just cycle over to image flip and turn it off so we have it correctly uh, oriented. Then we go to focus adjustment and I can now do, um, I could do an autofocus. If I press and hold this one, it's gonna one push focus my um, the camera. But I can also adjust it manually using this knob, as you can see. It is changing the focus. It was now brought out of focus and now I'm bringing it into focus and I'm trying to hit the right spot around there. So obviously I can go, can go to autofocus mode if I want to turn it off again. PDC limitation, speed limitation is uh, something we should look at right now. So I promised you that this camera had really smooth movement and that is true. You see when we are this far in the picture, I zoomed all the way right now. Just see what happens when I begin to move the camera. You actually have pretty decent panning while we are still zoomed that far. And that's super useful if you are on air with a really uh, long uh, focal length of the camera. So that's neat. That's super neat. Um, but you can also speed limit your joystick. So let's say that you, you be, I mean, you can still push it. Even if I do it full swing, it's still pretty decent. I really like this. This is great. Um, but the speed limitation is one which is your go-to place if you want to put a cap on the max speed that the joystick will output. So let's just bring this down to uh, 37. I now put full swing on the joystick and you can see full swing on the joystick is gonna be different than if I have it at 100% and now full swing of the joystick is a little bit quicker. So with a camera like this, which is so clever to combine the pan tilt speed with the focal length, it's not as important a feature of your Skahoy controller as it is with a lot of other uh, Visca cameras, basically the majority of them, where you will find the need to have the speed limitation applied to the joystick to have as fine movement as you can have when you are uh, using long focal lengths of your, your lens. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bowling camera. We are super happy to um, be able to demonstrate it, have it integrated with the Skahoy controllers. We love those unique features it has, and we hope um, you will enjoy as much as we do the PTC Fly, PTC Pro, or the PTC Extreme with this brilliant camera. Mm -hmm.